Welcome back guys, this is Henry15002 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing working with PHP and with Coacademy and those are my birds once again. So what we are working with today in this lesson, we are working with arrays. Now arrays are just a list of items of whatever you want to store inside of them. Arrays can be manipulated um, so you could add different items in your array and you can also remove them. You can switch the order just like you can in the Python track. Check that out. But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going through some of the answers and maybe possibly the principles behind them. So this is what a standard array looks like. You create a variable you set it equal to array parentheses I think someone's calling me but who cares and basically you set whatever you want to set inside of them so here we are setting strings inside of our array you can also set numbers as we will later on but for right now we're just working with strings and you you separate them with commas and don't forget the semicolon at the end so moving on we're going to start our next lesson and here it is what Code Academy wants us to do is they want us to get familiar with working with arrays and seeing what exactly looks inside of them so in this particular lesson we are tasked with inserting two more items into the array. Um, one of the items will be called chips and the other will be called sausage. And save and submit. We get the green check mark, we are golden. So moving on, what Coacademy wants us to do is they want us to create our own array so watch what I do and it's pretty simple actually I created I create a variable set it equal to array parentheses and someone else is calling me so name three of your friends I don't know let's say Mark let's say Brittany and let's say Nyasha and make sure that you include your semicolons or else you're going to be thrown off. And I have a little misspelling right here. Make sure you spell array correctly and friends. So save and submit. We get the green check mark. We are golden. So number four is, is basically showing us um, how we can see what is inside of our array. Well, yes, we can see it when we write the code, but if we go to view um, full preview, we can't really see anything because the screen is blank. So what we really have to do, it's pretty simple, echo, and we have to write the name, so bring up the variable name, and you can do it like this, and there's also another way that you can do it that we will be diving right into next. So these two boxes, um, they're pretty much that they're not. That's not what it's called. Square brackets. That is what they are called. Square brackets. Shift, and it's right next to the P keyboard. Um, key note, whatever. So square, and we just have to call up. I guess it really doesn't matter. Oh. Call up, we want to call up the third element. So the third element will be 30. But notice how I put two because computer programs start from zero, one, two. So that is the third element. So this is what we get. We produce 30. Moving on to the next section. Now remember how I told you the square brackets really aren't the only way of calling or using arrays well you can also use the curly braces that we all love so much and it functions pretty much in the same exact manner save and submit we still get 30 
Moving on to the next section. Now for the next section, number six, what we want to do is we want to modify our array. So what we want to do to modify our array is, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to basically call up our variable languages and make sure you have you have an S because the first time I did this I did not have the S there and it took me a while to notice but languages square brackets or curly braces or curly braces whichever one you prefer and what they want us to do is to remove anything any language that you really don't want so I guess I'll just remove number two which means PHP um, Set it equal to anything that you want. So I'm setting it equal to Java. So what and semicolon. So what we have here is we we imported this variable down here. We got the second element inside of the array, which just happens to be PHP. We set it equal to Java, and we have the semicolon to end it. Save and submit. and we forgot to echo it out. The one thing, um, so I, I actually did change what it is, but I didn't print it out on the screen. So don't forget to write echo because echo pretty much prints it out on the screen. Save and submit and we get Java golden. Moving on to the next lesson. For the next lesson, what Cool Academy wants us to do is they want us to remove an element inside of our array. So how to do this is as easy as type in unset parentheses, writing your variable name, so languages, square brackets or curly braces, whichever one you prefer. And just pick one. Um, for this one, we're pick, we have to pick Python, so just use number three, semicolon, save and submit, we get the green check mark. We are golden. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby. No more Python in this tutorial. Okay, so you can actually de delete the whole array itself. Just get rid of these, um, the square braces and the number three, and it just deletes the whole array. This is Henry1502 Inc. Add, like, subscribe, comment down below. Do you need any help? I'm out.